I'm Laura Keplinger, and this is Emily Ruffner, and this is our illicit drugs extra credit video. We chose to do the Lemon 714 scene from the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, and we specifically focused on the portrayal of the actor, of the character Jordan by the actor Leonardo DiCaprio. So pretty much what happens in the scene is that Leonardo DiCaprio drives to a country club to use a payphone, but before he left the house, he decided to take a bunch of quaaludes, which were Lemon 714s, which were very expired in the movie. At first he thought that they weren't going to work, but mean while he was in the middle of a phone conversation, um, they, they began to work, and he started feeling the effects, he started feeling like the slurred speech and everything, and... It, the scene depicts him just like trying to get out of the building and into his car and trying to drive back home while under the influence of Quaaludes. Okay. So what they did right in their portrayal of Quaaludes. So they, sh they portrayed Jordan with slurred speech because he just basically starts to begin talking gibberish and can't put coherent sentences together. He's very disoriented and doesn't know what to do. He basically falls on the ground and can't move. Which leads to the next point, which is seizure and muscles. All of his muscles were constricting into what he called the cerebral palsy stage, where he couldn't move, and all of his muscles were like this, and twisted, and yeah. And then, Luz also <coughs> caused drunken behavior, which was very clearly exhibited in Jordan trying to drive his car, and trying to walk, and trying to get into his car. He basically ended up rolling into his car and climbing and crawling and, yeah, it was bad. Mm -hmm. And another thing Luz do is cause lack of inhibition, which is very clearly demonstrated in Donnie talking on a tapped phone about very secretive things. And the way in which Jordan attacked Donnie, he climbed across the kitchen table, threw plates everywhere, and tried to choke Donnie with the phone and try to take it away from him. It was just very bad. And then another thing that they did right was showing how muscle muscles are disturbed and it was difficulty coordinating movements. Jordan couldn't move. His muscles were not working properly. And then there's also a false perception of depth, depth and distance. And this is showed twice. And Jordan... When he's trying to get down the steps of the country club to his car, the steps look like more than, like, 20 steps, when it's really six. And when he first starts to show signs, he's on a payphone. And when he falls to the ground, the payphone just seems to get farther and farther away from him, which shows that he couldn't see what the possible, probable depths were. And then Jordan talks about different phases of quaaludes, and one of the ones that they specifically mentioned that was right is the tingling phase. This tingling is a symptom of quaaludes. So high doses of qu taking quaaludes can cause a lot of sweating, which you can see in the movie because Jordan or Leonardo DiCaprio is profusely sweating during the entire scene, and also it less of a response to pain. So at, one, at the part where Jordan physically like rolls himself down the stairs he does somersaults down a flight of brick stairs and he just kind of like gets up at the end and just acts like he really wasn't in pain even though typically like if you're a normal human being and you roll down a flight <laughs> of <laughs> brick stairs you'd feel some pain um also to loot uh, quaaludes and alcohol should not be taken together um it doubles down on the dose and both are depressants so and during like the scene, Jordan and Donnie were drinking while they were taking the quaaludes, which is not good. And your tolerance to quaaludes can build up very quickly, um, which is why it, they why it might have taken so long for them to kick in. Because typically, like it only takes. They described at the beginning of the movie that it only takes about fifteen minutes for the quaaludes to kick in, and for them, the quaaludes actually took about ninety minutes to kick in. So their portrayal of quaaludes was actually pretty good. Like the symptoms they did show were basically spot on, but there were some symptoms that were not shown, and that's what they didn't do in the movie. They didn't show that high doses of quaaludes could cause fatigue or sluggishness, or numbness, delirium, possible coma, a decrease in heart rate, blood pressure, and muscle tone, and a slower pulse. So yeah. Thanks for watching.
for watching my video. Thanks to Sebastian for being in it. <laughs>